Experiencing a black screen on your Fetch TV can be frustrating, but this issue often stems from simple causes that can be easily resolved. Black screen issues typically stem from three main categories, power connection problems, HDMI connection or input issues, and hardware malfunctions, including overheating. First, ensure your Fetch box is properly connected to a working power outlet. Bypass any surge protectors if possible and try plugging into a different power socket to rule out outlet issues. Next, verify the HDMI connection between your fetch box and TV. Make sure your TV is set to the correct HDMI input. Try reseating the HDMI cable or use a different cable or port. Power cycling both your TV and fetch box can resolve temporary glitches. Unplug both devices for 30 to 60 seconds, then plug them back in. The indicator light on your fetch box provides important diagnostic information. A red light means the box is in standby mode, a blue light may indicate an HDMI sync issue, and no light suggests a power problem. Important service updates to be aware of. IINet discontinued fetch services as of January 22, 2025, and Aussie Broadband stopped offering new fetch services on August 1, 2024. If you are an existing customer of these services, contact their support teams for assistance. These initial troubleshooting steps resolve most Fetch TV black screen issues. If the problem persists, advanced troubleshooting methods may be required. When basic troubleshooting doesn't resolve your Fetch TV black screen, it's time for advanced reset procedures. We'll cover soft resets, factory resets, and additional troubleshooting steps. A soft reset clears settings while preserving your recordings. Turn off the fetch box, wait 30 seconds, then turn it back on. Within two minutes of restarting, press red, green, yellow, blue on the remote until the light flashes red. A factory reset erases everything but may resolve persistent issues. Turn off the fetch box, wait 30 seconds, turn it back on, and as soon as preparing system appears, press blue, yellow, green, red until the light flashes red. Remember, this deletes all your content. If your screen is completely black and you can't see anything, try a blind factory reset. Press the power button, unplug the power cable, wait 30 seconds, then reconnect power while holding the remote and press the blue, yellow, green, red sequence repeatedly. Overheating can cause black screens. Ensure your fetch box has adequate ventilation, keep it away from direct sunlight, don't place it on carpet, and regularly check for dust buildup on the vents. For optimal streaming performance, ensure you have a download speed of at least 3.5 megabits per second for standard definition content. Higher speeds are required for HD and 4K streaming. If these advanced troubleshooting steps don't resolve your black screen issue, contact your service provider's customer support team. They can provide additional assistance and determine if hardware replacement is needed.